I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. I have to go. Sleep well. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. I do not see a way to turn it off. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I do not see a way to open it. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. 
but I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. It's an empty whiskey bottle. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. Do you happen to have any film on you? I do. I come prepared. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Really? Well, I need to get back to solving this case. Happy to help. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Dead ringer for the body. Oh! It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. Was that violin music coming from the sewer? That old, that old tree is blocking the great entrance. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. The trail ends. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. Hmm. There's no film in the camera. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. It's a trail down to the railroad trestle.
It's the E.T. game for the 2600. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. The signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it until he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Beep. Hmm. Click, click, click. Was. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Whack! Heek! Whack! Click, 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 click. It's a plumbing van, driven by big pigeons. No need, the perps are outside. Ooh. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Beep! Beep! No time to talk. Ooh. We need to Ooh. figure out the signals! You? Seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Whack! Eek! Beep! I'm not showing my badge here. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them? Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. Dead ringer for the body. Oh. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Michigan, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada, Georgia, Virginia, Connecticut. Vermont, Maryland, Kansas, North Carolina, Texas, Montana, Tennessee, 
South Dakota, District of Columbia, Florida, South Carolina, Washington, Arizona, Montana, New Jersey, Utah, Delaware, Kentucky, Maine, Ohio, Mississippi, Illinois, North Dakota, Nebraska, Arkansas, Colorado, Louisiana, New York, New Mexico, Missouri, West Virginia, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Iowa, Wyoming, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, Oregon, Indiana, Alabama, and Michigan. Flowers left over from a funeral. A flower from the cemetery. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. I can't put it in there. I shouldn't say anything out loud, but seeing Chuck's tomb in person makes me a little happy inside. Wait up, eager beaver. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. How about a hint on me getting out of this crazy town? Better leave it be. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. 
is new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? The inscription says, Pelotronics, the brain of our city. Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, Who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who? Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess, the Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pisa Who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything.
fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals plus a fingerprint Insert from the two photos of an individual and the face Tron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Insert two photos of an individual and the face Tron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading. Impressive, but nothing happened. Lots of medical books there. I can't push that. I can't open that. I don't want to pick that up. That doesn't seem to work. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. It's a medical skeleton. Ugh, smells awful. I don't want to pick that up. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Areno computers. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. Yeah, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You... I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. 
the Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer in Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Just a bunch of files. Mm, standard city-issued desk, but with no drawers. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. I don't want to pick that up. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Wake up, people! Just a bunch of files. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. It's my speck of dust. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. I'd better leave the bag where it is. It's a bag full of plumber tools. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. I can't get past that water. It 
says, after 34 years of serving the tri Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. It's pretty rusty and totally out. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. It's the back door to the diner. What a mess. It's locked. It says, need help, call. Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? Thank you, goodbye. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. Gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. It's my speck of dust. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. I can't push that. It's already slightly open. I'm not going to open it anymore. Way too smelly for me. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit. I don't want to pick that up.
The pet store is for rent. Guess no one around here has any pets. An old cash register. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or 10 years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. My housekeeper does a pretty Good job of keeping this place clean. It's pouring out water. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a th What the hell is this? The number of steps going up to my bed. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. What, you think this is Alice in Wonderland? My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. Let's see if I can remember this combination. 
I give up. Well, that didn't work. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. I'll just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. I don't wear hats. My cloud fro looks great now. Now there's the face I love. That's not gonna work. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge cr- I don't want to pick that up. Hey, it's not my job to push popcorn stands around. Again? Lots of prizes. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams and you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my joke book? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where's the grand you owe me? Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. We got prizes. You got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f 
am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting the squeeze on me. Not my problem. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the five kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have five kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. You, I'm out of here. Grand prize if you can shoot the... Lots of surprises. Well, you. Well, you. Well, you. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Ah. Ransom, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I can't get up! I think my steels are broken! Ransom, you're a total... Ransom, you're a total... I'll steal your clown nose again! That's what I'll do! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I can't get up! Ransom, you're a total... I'll steal your clown nose again! That's what I'll do! I'll get Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. It's an IOU. Ransom the clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will. Hmm. The number of steps going up to my bed. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Hmm. The number of steps going up to my bed. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Ransom, you jerk! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I'll steal your clown nose again! That's what I'll do! It's an IOU. Hmm. The number of... Hmm. The number of steps going up to my bed. The number of letters in the bottom left word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. I can't reach that. Meanest clown, it's my locked safe where I keep all my money. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally...
Top dog. Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. I'll get you, Handsome the Clown! I think my stilts are broken! Just shoot like a man or a little girl. You got my money, Ransom the Ass White Clown? I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. No wait! It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the joke. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatsos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Hey you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that god's definitely punishing you for something hey you ugly old lady with the hairy mole or is it your parasitic twin whatever it is i hope you bought a separate ticket because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself it's not freeloading in my audience you will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! You old lady! You up the Come on! As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, gritty little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. 
Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Ah, delicious! I can't wait to eat one. Hmm, I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I um gotta go. <sighs> I feel better now. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. You're listening to KSCUM 198.7 on your FM dial. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? I'm all tubed out. Thanks. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. At least they keep the streets clean. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? We could use a new one. A WC-60. Yeah, we must... Yes. She is too far away. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over three... Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the Pigeons my regards. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. 
and super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose. I don't believe for a second anyone in Zimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. You're naive to be so trusting. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, and they are like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure, but I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Down the tubes? Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his tube-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure, but it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. I like working a case alone. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. No time to talk. We have to tidy up. And split like a wishbone. <laughs> yeah, little pigeon humor. I can't push that. I can't pull that. Hmm. 
nothing in there but dust bunnies. Who could be afraid of a meteor? It's out of order. It seems to be out of tokens. I can't put it in there. I like it when the enemies die. Very realistic red pixel blood. It's out of order. It's out of order. Space slime? Who'd want to play this? It seems to be out of tokens. You gotta be crazy mad to play this game. Or you'll be crazy mad when you've finished. It's the famous game Tuna Head. It's out of order. It says, Tokentron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each and every time. A maximum of 12 tokens. It's out of tokens. I guess I need to find tokens somewhere else. Looks like a really big tube. It's stuck. These must contain journalistic gold, or old classified ads. I don't want to open it. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It's a color copy Tron 3000. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Good guess, Scoop. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff, plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd in Reno. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Artvark insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Keep going. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. 
Chuck was disgraced and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much, just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? <sighs> you? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the Seventh Amendment? Nope. That provides for the right to trial by jury in certain civil cases, according to common law. Don't you mean the Twelfth Amendment? No, that revises presidential election procedures. Don't you mean the 19th Amendment? Nope, that prohibits the denial of the right to vote based on sex. Don't you mean the 26th Amendment? Nope, that prohibits the denial of the right of U.S. citizens 18 years of age or older to vote on account of age. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. Don't you mean the 24th Amendment? No. That prohibits the revocation of voting rights due to the non-payment of taxes. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a man on the road minding his own business. It's a map of the Trithumbaweed Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. Gutenberg would be proud. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. No one is in there. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually, 
No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Call center operative? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... a video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. That doesn't seem to work. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64, with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200. My state-of-the-art Commodore 64 is turned on now. I'm bored playing games. I want a job at Mucus Phlegm so I can make games. I should These are part of my action figure collection. You're a rebel, Billy. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. Albert's my hero. Am I? If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. It's very dry firewood.
carefully handling broken glass. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe there's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. It doesn't work with that. It's an empty glass. It doesn't work with that. The glass is now filled with water. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. The fireplace looks very clean. That sounds like the doorbell. This log should burn really well now. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but... I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Nice warm fire. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough for now. I don't feel like the taste for a non trademark infringing poopsie now. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. It says out of order. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Here you go, Chucky. Drink up. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. I don't feel like the taste for non-trainmark infringing poopsie now.
It's Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a... I don't think this will help me get the job. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. These are in mint condition. No way I'm going to touch them. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. I like to keep my bed made. Never know who might walk into my room. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the Pillow Factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy-tronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but, um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe, uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the Pillow Factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 08 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by getdigital.eu. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. My I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the...
It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough for now. It's a defunct robot prototype. I still get lost after all these years. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. It's black soot from the fireplace. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. That's a bottle for printer ribbon ink with black soot in it. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Very ambitious. 
be like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many room local variables are there? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000. Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. I should stick up for myself. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Why not plush toys? The sign says it's out of order. The sign says it's out of order. The sign says it's out of order. No one will miss this out of order sign. <sighs> the out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. That's my great grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer.
Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many room local variables are there? Next question, variables can be modified while debugging your program. Next question, when the screen scrolls, it moves by Next question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. There's just soot in the ink bottle, not ink. The glass is now filled with water. This isn't a water-based ink, not with that smell. And I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. I don't feel like the taste for non-trademark infringing poopsie now. This isn't a water-based ink, not with that smell, and I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. I can't use the bottle with that. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. There. The blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. I can't reach that. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it.
I think I'll just be careful with them. Better be, better be careful. These bottles are sharp. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. I don't want to waste it on that. I don't want to waste it on that. Oh, they're lean. You're so soft and fluffy. I already got enough firewood. I can't open that. George the Postman will never pick it up without stamps on it. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum. I don't want to open it. I can't reach that. I still get lost after all these years. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. I think Uncle Chuck is too busy to notice. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. It's already closed. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. How exciting! I hope I get the job! Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you. Oh! 
Good luck. See ya. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... I can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck about my job offer. He'll be so proud. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real-life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. There's no path, there's no path beyond this point. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. A totally radical convention with all your favorite sci-fi shows, comic books, and the latest computer and video game technology. 
Listen to our... All boarded up and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm in the middle of sorting. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? Ugh, that's terrible. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Don't leave town. I have eyes on you. I'll be right there. Too much sorting to do. It's a slot for mail. Not much else to see. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. They're boxes waiting to be shipped. Or picked up. But not by anyone in this game. No. They're fine where they are. It's a postal scale. It says, for government use only, violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Buy me some kombucha? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. I can see something is in your pocket. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It's in plain sight. I don't even need a warrant to beat you for it. It's mine. Finders keepers. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um... Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I could legally beat you senseless for the wallet. 
Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. Hand over your wallet. I'm a federal agent. I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights. Find me a high-quality ran... Tell me what you know about a guy named Chuck. Ah, uh, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Have you seen my dime? You... Looks like they're having a big sale in there. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Have you seen my dime? Loose change? The future is never written. Have you seen my dime? I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. Hand it over and save us both a lot of trouble. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. Look, just hand the wallet over. It's mine. Finders keepers. Hand over the wallet. Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy. I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights. Now look, you find me. It's coming. All right. We'll play for now. We'll talk later. Where would I? You got any loose change? The monkey paw knows. Evening. <laughs>